Esto en el mundo, las entrevistas se llama la press line, la línea de prensa que se arma para entrevistar al elenco de diferentes películas y hoy lo prometido es deuda, sí, Marvel viene con tres películas que están increíbles, o sea, la gente se emocionó a la máxima potencia porque Black Panther nos mostró sus primeros clips, también Thor, nuevas imágenes y nuevas cosas, que, nuevas sorpresas que no nos esperábamos, e Infinity War, sí, todas ellas van a estar aquí, todo el elenco de estas películas se va a dar paso por este lugar y vamos a platicar con algunos, los principales, todo esto en exclusiva para ustedes como fans esto fue lo mejor del panel de Marvel How much has happened since I last saw you? I lost my armor like yesterday so that's still pretty fresh I've played this character five times uh, this is Marvel's 167th film or something um, and But me personally, I got a bit bored of myself and thought, we've got to try something different. Spoke with Tiger, spoke with Kevin, and all of us agreed if we're going to make a third four, we have to really push the envelope and experiment and take it to another level. So that was what this film was, you know? Um, cut his hair, break his hammer, change his clothes, change the world, and uh, I think that's what you're going to see and be excited about is something incredibly unique and different for not only the Thor world, but the, the Marvel Universe. Where are we? You have no idea. Uh, it's been four years, and um, if you saw Thor The Dark World, you will know that at the end of that film, Loki is on the throne of Asgard, pretending to be Odin. So Thor comes home, and uh, things are a little different in Asgard. Um, Loki has directed most of his energies into narcissistic self-glorification. But Ragnarok is coming and uh, you know, Loki's allegiances have always been slightly unpredictable and, and he's still the god of mischief. And where, what his part is in all of that, you'll just have to wait and see. It's good to be back here with Thor Ragnarok. It's, um, you know, we just uh, debuted that new trailer in Hall H and uh, fans went nuts for it, it was great. Asgard is dead. And it will be reborn in my image. I thought you'd be glad to see me. Yeah, the character really is, um, he's a survivalist. And early on in the picture, Hela turns up at Asgard and Scourge has a choice to make. And it's either join her or die. And, uh, you know, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but he's smart enough to make the right choice there for him. You need to stop her here and now. To prevent Ragnarok, the end of everything. They're putting together a team. Like the old days. We have these new four warriors. One of them are you. Yeah. How can we call them? I mean, I think what we're getting to see, A, we're having all these new characters introduced in the form of Valkyrie, who I play, and the Grand Master. But more than that, I think we get to see old characters that we know and we love as audience members like Thor and like Bruce Banner or the Hulk really shift and change in new ways that are interesting. And I think a hope for fans that have been following these films for a while, it's, it's as exciting to see these characters anew as it was for the actors to play them that way. Surprise! This will be such fun. You are uh, characters that adapt to the circumstances. Yeah, sure. Right? It's a kind of anti-heroes because you're going to be team with Thor. Yeah, it's fun. You get to see, I think, a collection of unlikely folks grouped together around a mission. And sometimes they're reluctant. And I think it makes for a movie that's very funny and rich and dynamic. What were you the god of again? something. What do you know about Wakanda? When you're excited about a movie, you know, that you did, and yeah, all of us, we went through, you know, we went through a struggle to try to create this, and, and um, everybody put their heart into it, everybody 
you know, have had their injuries and bumps and, and bruises and, and all of that. So it's, it's exciting to see when you put the work in, uh, you know, what it is it look like, looking like. Called it El Dorado. What kind of role do you will have in the Infinity War? Because we saw you in this footage and and you are like in Earth and something like that, right? Essentially, Infinity War, we need everybody. Yeah. We need everybody and, and I think the only thing that I can say is that, you know, obviously we ended it, we ended Civil War divided. An enemy coming to attack when you're divided is, is at an advantageous position. So, I'm just part of that you know, divided um, force that needs to come together. What about the characters? All the characters in this movie seems like a warriors and you are like a, I don't know, like a gangster. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he's he's a, he's like a mercenary, really. You know, he is a, he he deals in he's an arms dealer. He works with governments. He works under under you know undercover. Um, he he has in, in in different countries. He has safe houses where he has weapons. Where he has, you know he's he so he's constantly. But he's all about money. He's a he's an ultra capitalist. You know. of Wakanda is that it is this place that is the most successful, the most advanced nation on earth and it's on the continent! Woo! Stop it! Get me you don't recognize who they are? Dentro de toda esta vorágine, dentro de todo este descontrol y emoción, también nos da tiempo para platicarte de una serie. Allá dentro están el elenco de Dark Matter. Una serie que tal vez no te suene tanto, pero los fans de Hueso Colorado de esta serie cada vez la hacen más y más y más popular. Imagínense despertar en una nave espacial, no saber de dónde vienen ni hacia dónde van. Más o menos esa es la temática de estos seis personajes que en el orden que van despertando van adquiriendo su nombre, del 1 al 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Esos son los personajes que van a tener que encontrar la forma de darle sentido a su existencia Tercera temporada, ya se estrenó Y la puedes ver por Sci-Fi Channel y Vamos a platicar con todos ellos, vénganse We are very excited about the new season that it's uh, it's now on the, on the air, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. We, in, we in Latin America can watch it uh, by Sci-Fi Channel. Well, it's uh, more or less it's just about a bunch of people who wake up on a spaceship, have no idea who they are, and get into all kinds of trouble. My name's uh, Three on the show. I wake up third, and uh, that's why my name is Three. And. Uh, you know, our show is basically about waking up and finding out that you, you've lost your memories, you don't know who you are, and you are the bad guys. You are rapists and murderers and killers, and you have no, no memory of that whatsoever. I play a character named Two. She wakes up and she's essentially the de facto leader. She just takes charge really, really quickly, kicks butt, and knows her way around the ship intuitively and has all of these combat skills that constantly surprise her because she's in situations where people need rescuing and then all of a sudden she's just destroying like 20 dudes in five seconds. I play Four and Four is the assassin of the crew. Uh, who specializes in hand-to-hand -hand combat, specifically killing people with a sword. I think Canadian storytellers are bringing that back in a way that we haven't seen in a while. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pues ahí lo tienen muchachos, hay para todos los gustos, sí. Así cerró el tercer día de Comic Con, con todo el elenco de Marvel y con todo el elenco de Dark Matter. Todo para ustedes. Yo soy Alex Montiel, pasenla chido. Síganme en el Twitter y denle click a todos estos videos de la Comic Con especiales que hemos hecho para todos ustedes. En la descripción te dejo el link para que le des click y te va a salir la lista de reproducción de todo Comic Con 2017 porque ha estado brutal. Pasenla chido, nos vemos en el cine.